Hey guys, uh, here's a quick video on putting in a Wi-Fi wall switch. So I've disconnected power, so there's no power here. Um, So in the rat's nest back here, you're gonna find the neutrals for the switch. So, um, neutral wire needs to go in that screw hole, ground, uh, load, and then I guess out means um, we're live. And then out means basically to your switch, I mean to your light or fixture. Okay, right. so if you can, you can trace which ones are which by where they come in the box. Um, a lot of times the load wires will be tied together, or the, the switch wires will be tied together if they're going to the same switches to something, or um, in this case, we've got two wires going out one side of the box, one side of the box and one wire coming out the other. The one wire is going to be your uh, live wire. We've got two switches, I mean, two lights out there. So this will be the live. I'm going to snip this shorter because the thing's not so long. to do is get the ground kind of worked into that twist. Now uh, this is aluminum and copper. Um, technically you should be using the, there's a paste that goes on them. I'll leave that for you to do on your own. I'm just showing you how to do it here. Otherwise you can get a uh, heat build up there. So, I'm not an electrician, so I don't want to use this as a perfect solution. Okay, so we got our ground. Our 
neutral. I'm going to bend those over because of the way this is. These uh, wires don't tighten down to this very well. Copper, copper works great, but these aluminum wires don't work well. Or steel or layer. Hand tighten so you don't uh, strip it. Oops, I just put the wall on. Into the fixture. Those are all they're good. So now for the retack, you make sure you don't get the ground wires really touch anything. They touch these terminals when you turn the uh, breaker back on. But So this is for the um, this is the Joso switch. It's a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi switch. Turn your breaker back on. Okay, breaker's back on. Test it out. So this controls the outside, the one below it controls the inside. That's what it should do. This, this will always be lit up if it's configured, and it blinks if it's not. So just hold it down until it's solid, and blinks a couple times, and then you can configure it in the app. Um, you have to get a wall plate that'll work now, like this. And 
number of short screws on the top and on these smaller holes. And longer screws on the bigger ones. Okay, that's it. Good luck.